Firefighters in the North Metro say it was a call unlike any they've ever received. A dog was stranded on a Spring Lake Park rooftop Friday night. Firefighters didn't know just how complicated the situation was until they arrived at the scene. Susan Elizabeth Littlefield explains. There are many words to describe five-year-old Whiskey. <laughs> He's a big, old, hairy, lovable, slobbery St. Bernard. But he's a great dog. Whiskey is Renee Roth's grand dog. She's dog sitting as her son trains in the National Guard. It's the life we chose, he chose, and I appreciate his patriotism. Renee was fulfilling her duty, dog sitting Friday night, making dinner when she heard a ruckus upstairs. I ran up to see what was happening, and the dog wasn't in there, and I just thought the worst. It was a worst case scenario. But it certainly could have been better. 180 pound whiskey had knocked out the screen and jumped through the window. Thankfully, he landed on this small patch of roof. I mean, he was standing there and he kept looking over on the garage. I'm like, don't jump. I ended up calling the fire department and thankfully they came over. I can't imagine what that dispatch message sounded like, uh, yeah, there is a St. Bernard on the roof. <laughs> and they'll be like, what? We do occasionally get the cat in a tree call, but uh, dog on a roof, not so much. Still, the Spring Lake Park firefighters sprung into action. They had to remove the entire window. Firefighters got into place inside and on the roof. It was kind of an organized effort of pushing from the outside and pulling from the inside. And then once Whiskey figured out what we were doing, I think he kind of cooperated and jumped through, and it all happened pretty quick. And as you can see, he pulled through just fine. Whiskey, one spirited St. Bernard. We're here for many different things, not just fires. Yeah, good. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Appreciate it. Come September, Whiskey is going to need a dog sitter again. His dad is being deployed, and they're hoping to find a foster family. He promises he'll be on his best behavior this time. In Spring Lake Park, Susan Elizabeth Littlefield, WCCO, 4 News.